up guys, so in today's video, I wanna show you how you can edit your GoPro photos like a pro using an incredible uh, AI software by the team at Skylum called Luminar Neo. Now you may already be well aware or acquainted with Luminar 4 or even Luminar AI, which is other software that Skylum have already out on the market, however, we were super fortunate, or I've been super fortunate, to be able to get my hands on the beta version of Luminar Neo. So everything that you see in today's video will possibly look and maybe feel slightly different when it is set to come out on the market in February 2022. So the time of the recording this is December 2021. However, by the time, and it is currently available for pre-order. However, I do have to mention that this is a beta version of Luminar Neo and the look and feel of it may drastically change by the time that it hits the market. In today's video, I wanted to run through some of the features that the software is boasting like dust and spot removal, spe specifically for those of you that love capturing dome images with your action cameras, um, you know, just the power of the AI editing features, the sky replacement tool. If you checked out my Instagram earlier this week, you probably already saw this image, but yeah, let's dive in and let's check out some of these incredible editing features. <laughs> We've put the GoPro Hero 10 in here, into the dome, into the Teleson dome. And we are gonna take some dome photos. How's the mop on the lad? Ready, three, two, one, go. <laughs> we got some content creators on the beach right there. <laughs> They're going as far. They're French. It's our uh, French content creators. Uh, they are making the content here in Greece. So one of the things that absolutely annoys me when I take dome or action camera photos is the dust. These evidence of water or water droplets, which you know, are often really hard to avoid. You know, whether you you know put some solution on front of the dome or whether you dunk the dome there's still this probability that they'll be on the lens. And that's where a software like Luminar Neo can really improve um, the overall look and final version of your photo. So this supposedly can be cleaned up with a single click in Luminar Neo. Now again, this is a beta software, but let's test this out. Over here in our tools, we have this ability to erase. And at the bottom, there is this objects removal. I can click remove dust here, which I'm hoping will also remove the water. Removing, 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 removing. It, it just, did you see that? Okay, so there was, there was a stick there and there was, okay, it hasn't done an incredible job, but it's done a pretty good first take. Now, if I want to then further clean up these extra bits of water that are still here, I guess I have this brush and I can just click through here and I can erase. <laughs> wow, amazing. There, that's gone. Let's get rid of these little bits too. Erase. Bam! And the dust is gone. And I guess I can really be as meticulous as I like. That's gone. So one of the processes that we like to go through, or I like to specifically go through when I'm editing my action camera photos is a workflow of crop, as in cropping the image mostly to a four five aspect ratio if I'm publishing on Instagram. Then I like to color it. And this is the last phase. This is what I call clean. You can use the acronym CCC, take it, <laughs> run with it. We teach it to you in the Action Camera Masterclass. Um, but yeah, this is something that I would go through at the very end and I'd clean up. I'd even go through and clean up these little dots and just make sure that the image looks and erase them, just looks pristine. Come on, distract. Bam, and the distractions are gone. So that is, that is super powerful and something that I think Luminar Neo does very seamlessly and it's very easy to do. So Luminar Neo has a bunch of other incredible creative features like color treatment, you can be really specific about addressing particular colors, you've got power line removal AI software, um, and also things like portrait bokeh. I wanna jump in and show you this portrait bokeh because I think it's freaking wild. Let's have a look at this image here. Thank you, Cody, for sending it in. Um, so in the history, I'm gonna go back to the original. Now maybe you saw this at the start of the video and you weren't quite sure of how much the photo was edited. Quite a subtle edit to be honest, but something incredibly cool is this portrait bokeh. In the tools, down in the portrait section, I've got this AI feature called portrait 
bokeh. And if as soon as I slide the slider, you'll notice how it makes the background blurry. It's keeping everything here in the foreground in focus. As I zoom in onto Cody's hair, you can see, yeah, like it's done an incredible job of AI masking him out and going, you know what, I'm gonna make this lens, not like a $200, $300 lens. For those of you that know, um, and that shoot a lot of action camera content, you'll know it's almost like an infinite depth of field. And to get this bokeh or this blurry background, you need, um, you know, you need a DSLR where you can change the focal point or <laughs> software like Luminar where you can quite simply create that bokeh in post-production. Now, I think this is awesome. There's a lot of, um, you know, further tweaks that you can make. You can change the depth correction. So let's say you were like, hmm, depth correction is almost like changing the lens. It's like going, oh, maybe I'll make it like, you know, a 1.8 or a 2. a 2.8 or even a 5.6 depth of field. Like, and so you just, you can really go in there and tweak it. But with this image, what I also have done is I've added um, a LUT, which is kind of cool. You can go in here to the mood in the creative panel and you can either choose some of the LUTs, some of the lookup tables that uh, Lumina have, which come with the software. Basically, all of these are just presets. So if I click on genius, that's it's created and look if i increase the amount you can see it's like created this tone i'm not so stoked on that i'm not so stoked on involve kodak chrome 3 not so stoked on that so what i can do is i can go and i can load my own custom luts now me personally i use luts or lookup tables for uh video editing but you can also if you've got a bunch of luts you can also include them or import them into Lumina Neo and add them onto your photos, which is really cool. So here, this is um, the LUT bundle. It was on sale a couple of years ago and I've got a bunch of different creators LUTs. Let's go into Sam Kohler's and let's try SK7 underwater. It's an underwater LUT and let's increase the amount. Has that done anything? I don't think that's done anything. Let's try that again. Let's load a custom LUT. Let's go SK5. Okay, there we go, that's done something. And if we increase the amount, you'll see it's like this autumn sort of warmer hue. Let's go, let's try his, uh, let's try Let's try SK6, let's try that one. That's very yellow, it's more of like a yellow blue hue. Anyway, I kind of liked, I think it was SK7 when I first tried this. No, it's definitely not SK7, <laughs> must be five. That's it, it's a nice autumn sort of feel. Now the last thing I wanted to run you through was just my editing workflow. Thank you to Diksha for sending this image in. It's, it's a great image, it's got great bones, but I wanna show you how we can take this image to the next level. So this is how you could edit like a pro. So my workflow is crop color clean, so let's start with a crop. As I said, you can do the AI crop feature, which I think it just predicts based on um, yeah, rule of thirds and other photography techniques. However, I wanna make mine four or five. So let's go four five and yeah, that's pretty good. Making sure that that um, tower is in the middle. So let's go enter, it's a nice crop. Um, the first thing that I wanna do with this image is I wanna make the sky cooler. So I'm gonna go into the sky AI and I'm gonna choose the night sky. So if I go to the galaxy options, I've got the first galaxy, which is very purple, but super cool. And the second galaxy, which I think just makes this image look wildly cool. Um, again, for those of you that are like, yeah, but that's just, it's just like not at all how the photo is taken. I get it, but like, look at NFTs, look at digital art. Like there's so much to celebrate about these tools and about, you know, playing around with editing. Now what I'm gonna do is I wanna flip the sky orientation and I wanna move the, the Milky Way a little bit more, just a little bit over so I can change the horizontal position of it if I want, like maybe I can put it here. And in the mask refinement, I can also fix the details a bit. Again, I think that's working around here, this part of the image. And I, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's about mile, not bad. Now something you'll notice because this was captured on a GoPro or wide angle lens is there's like these sort of you know, these, these bending lines. So in the developing window at the very top, you've got this ability to auto-correct the optics or you can manually correct the optics. Now this was shot with a GoPro, so it's very wide angled. Let's change the lens distortion. That is wild. 
What's happening right now, if you can see, it's like stretching out the distortion of the image to make it sort of more flat. I can go the other way if I want to, which is kind of crazy. It's like opening up another world into the universe as I do this. But I think somewhere in here, like 12 or 19, look at that, it's kind of wildly stretching this left side of the image, but at the top, it's sort of straightening out that line. I just think that's super fascinating. And I guess you can tweak the the amount of it if you come in here and you play around with the de-vignetting tool. Now, the next thing I would do is I just wanna add a little bit more saturation and color to this. So I'm gonna go down to the super contrast area and just have a look at these highlights, the mid-tones and the shadows. Shadows I'm gonna keep down. Color harmony will go in and bring it a little bit warmer, I think. I like that nice and warm and the amount, let's, yeah, it's really, really saturated. It's like, wow, how did you shoot this photo? What are your camera settings? Um, and then maybe I wanna add just a little vignette. It's a wide angle lens, so I'll bring the vignette, bring the edges darker. So we're really pushing into the to the night sky and and we can change the size of it. And there we go. The last thing that I would do is I would clean up, like erase anything that I didn't like so I might come in here and uh, with the brush, make sure the brush is selected, yeah. And see how there's these little bits here. I'll just um, command plus to zoom in, command plus to zoom in. I might just take the brush off so I can move the image and show you. So in here there's like bits of grass which I'm not totally stoked on. I can just come into the, into the erase window with my brush and just hopefully just paint that in and it sort of like makes it green. Let's see. Is it gonna do it? Oh wait, I gotta click erase. <laughs> erase, is it gonna do it for me? Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do I don't know. Did that do anything? I think it did. I think it did some, or maybe not. Anyway, again, using the beta version of Luminar Neo, the one tool that I have found um, challenging throughout this beta testing has been this uh, arrays and the, the AI features for dust removal. It's working sometimes, it's working, not others. Anyway, hopefully by the time that you get your hands on a copy of it in February, if you've already pre-ordered, um, it will have ironed out all of these bugs. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have enjoyed the video, please punch that thumbs up button and share some of these epic editing tools with someone else who's interested in GoPro or action camera editing. Um, if you are looking to get your hands on a copy of Luminar Neo, top link in the description, you can just click on that and you'll be good to go. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next upload. Jaya, peace. Oh.